Hi and welcome back. In this video I want to show you how to define articles inside of an Adobe PDF document. Now this isn't going to be useful in most documents that you create and convert into PDF documents. The only time you need to use articles is when you have content that begins on one page and then stops and begins someplace else on another page. And a good example of this would be a newsletter that you might publish. But for documents like memos or um, simple reports that the content is very sequential, you're not going to need to actually define articles. And you can see the example that I have here. It's a very simple document. You can see I've got the title here, first article in document. And we scroll down a little bit and there is the end of this article on this page. But you can see here it says continued on page two and then on page one we have the second article begin. We continue to go down and the second article actually continues on the second page and when it finishes we have more of the first article that's continued from page one. So what we need to do is we need to define these different blocks of content as one article. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up here to the top again and I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to go to the view menu. I'm going to select navigation panel and articles. And you're going to see that panel appears here. And right now I don't have any articles defined in this document. So we can go ahead and turn that off. We'll see that a little bit later after we've defined our articles. So I'm going to go back to view navigation panels and click articles again to turn that off. Now, to turn on the article creation tool, you're going to go ahead and go to the tools menu and select advanced editing. And on the sub menu, you're going to select articles tool. And when I do that, you're going to see my cursor changes from that arrow to this crosshair shape that I have right now. So what you need to do is you need to draw a box around all the content that begins the first article in the document. So I'm going to go ahead and start up here. You don't need to be exact. And I'm just going to draw a box. And you can see I'm going all the way over here to the right. And then I'm going to go ahead and move down. And as I move down, you'll see it begins to scroll. I don't want to go too far down because then it will move too fast. And I'm going to go ahead and just select right up to Article 2 here. And I'll release. And you're going to see, if I scroll up again, I have article one and the first section of that article. Now you're going to notice your cursor is still an unusual shape here. And what Acrobat is asking you to do is select the next section in that article. So I'm going to scroll back down and I'm going to skip over this second article. And I'm going to keep scrolling down until I've got more of the first article. And again, this is on the second page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around that. So now I have Article 1, and this is the second section or the second block of text. Now, Article 1 doesn't finish on the second page. If I scroll down here, you're going to see I have even more of Article 1 on the third page before the beginning of the third article. So I'm going to again draw a box around just that text and release and that again is the first article, the third section. And when you're finished you can simply go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And when you do that it's going to ask you for the article properties. And you should put in at least a couple of different pieces of information here. The title and the author. The subject and the keywords would also be very helpful. But I'm just going to go ahead and type first article in document and John Smith for the author. And again, you'd want to fill out these other pieces of information if you were doing that for real. And I'll click OK. And I now have the first article defined in my document. So now we need to do this for the second and the third article. So again, I'm going to come up here to my tools menu and go to advanced editing. One thing that goofs people up is you're going to go to the tools menu and select advanced editing. And some people go to the advanced menu here by mistake. 
So we'll go to Tools, Advanced Editing, and select the Article tool again. And you're going to see I get my crosshairs again. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw a box around that second article that's on the first page. And you'll see this is Article Tool 2, Section 1. Continue to scroll down. And there's the second part of the second article. So I'll draw a box around that. And again, I need to scroll down. So I'm going to move down to the bottom very slowly. And it'll start to scroll. And once you've gone far enough, you just want to come back up and release. And now I've got Article 2, Section 2. And that's all the text that's in Article 2. So again, I can just hit Enter here to bring up these article properties. And I'm just going to go ahead and type second article. And we'll say Mary Jones for that author. I'll click OK. And now we need to go ahead and there's my first article again. Now we need to do the third article. So I'm going to go to Tools, Advanced Editing, and click Article Tool again. Again, I have my crosshairs, so I'll go ahead and draw a box around the first part of the third article. Again, when you go down to the bottom, you don't want to go too far. Otherwise, you'll scroll too fast. And I'll release. And then I'm going to come back here to the final page and again draw a box around that text right there. And release. And now I've got Article 3 the second section. Press enter to finish and now I'll do third article. And we'll go ahead and do Peter Green here. I'll click OK. And again this isn't necessary in most documents. The only time this is necessary is in documents that have articles like newsletters. So now I've got my three different articles defined. I'm going to go ahead and um, come back here to View, select Navigation Panel, and choose Articles. And you're going to see there are the three articles that are in my document. So now somebody using a screen reader will be able to very simply double click on that and they'll go to that particular article. I'll double click on the second article here and you're going to see we come to that one double click on third article, we come to that. Again, I'll come back here to the first article and I can turn this off very easily just by going to the view menu, going to navigation panel and clicking articles and that turns that off. And now I can see the first article, second article, more of the first article. So again, you only need this tool whenever you're working with documents that have multiple pieces of content that stop and start in different places. But when you do have those types of documents like newsletters, this article tool is indispensable.